This is just a short footnote about a lot of the commands that I kind of skipped over uh, and didn't show earlier. So I'll just show you in one big go now. Probably the most important to start off with is just pressing M to move something. Very useful to do that rather than to have to click and drag and sometimes you, you know, as you can see I've selected something that I didn't want to select as well. Of course if we click drag and just move the mouse, this is going to move the components and break the nets. You can see that the, um, that the wire here was broken, but if we control click drag, then we can drag that without disconnecting that net. That's extremely useful. Uh, I didn't assign any component values because I was just kind of rushing through this. So if you want to assign the resistance value here, you could right click and figure it out by going maybe into properties or whatever. But if you just press V, then you go straight to the value. So let's make this a, I don't know, a 470 ohm resistor. And you could do the same thing with capacitance as well. Uh, you can press C to copy parts. You can, of course, rotate them using R. Often you want to reflect a part. So if I had this part and I wanted to reflect it across the X axis, I would just press X and that's kind of flipped it uh, vertically. And likewise, if I want to reflect it across the Y axis, I can do that with the Y key. So you can just remember X and Y because it's the axis that you're going to flip it around. And that's really useful because you can't rotate them around the way you might want or you know whatever's quicker, whatever, whatever suits your workflow best. I've been moving around a lot just by using the middle click to move around, just a middle click and drag. Uh, 